Right, Bree, thank you. All right, we've got some news on the fire watch this afternoon. Areas of central Idaho are in very high fire danger due to hot temperatures and dry conditions. Right now, crews are fighting the nearly 4100 acre shady fire in the Frank Church Wilderness. Lightning sparked this fire nearly a month ago. There are no fire restrictions at this time, but campers are urged to be cautious. The Forest Service has closed off several trails in the Salmon Chalice National Forest, Middle Fork Ranger District and Custer County due to safety hazards. Lightning is also to blame for the 1700 acre Cove Creek fire in the Salmon Chalice National Forest. It sparked on Saturday about 23 miles southwest of North Fork. The fire is also causing multiple trail closures throughout the Salmon Chalice National Forest. Again, fire crews are asking people to be careful while camping and to keep their distance from the ongoing firefighting operations. All right, moving to the north to the fire burning north of McCall. A lot of you are worried about this one. It's really big on social media right now. We're talking about the Nethker fire. It's located about three miles southwest of Bergdorf. It has burned about 100 acres in the Payette National Forest. The fire started yesterday afternoon. Fire managers suspect that it was sparked by lightning. Crews evacuated the Jeanette campground and several nearby campsites, as well as the Bergdorf residence. And Bergdorf Hot Springs remains closed until further notice. We do have a crew headed up to that area, and we'll bring you more on our evening newscast and at KTVB.com. In the meantime, another fire to tell you about. Lightning also sparking two fires in the Nez Perce National Forest. Crews are working on the Barren Hill and Crab fires along the Idaho-Montana border. The Barren Hill fire started in late June. It is being monitored, but the Forest Service is letting that fire burn out to naturally restore the local landscape. On the other hand, crews are working to contain the 185-acre Crab fire. Containment on that fire is expected by the end of the month. Both fires have led to trail closures in the area.